I've had this box in my room for quite a long time. Oh, by the way, grateful, thankful, blessed, never forget it. And uh, I'm finally going to set this thing up now. LG sent me this 4K Ultra HD monitor, 27 inch, kind of a while ago. I've been playing on my BenQ. Um, LG also sent me the two screens for my computer. It's very difficult, at least for me, to change something that's not broken. Though I've never games in 4K before. So, I figured, okay, what am I waiting for? The best time to do anything is right now, bro. I do play on a PlayStation 4 Pro, and before you say anything, the PS4 Pro, I guess, doesn't support true 4K gaming. Whereas the Xbox One X does. Although it's not true 4K, there's still gonna be a graphical improvement. Graphical. My only concern going from a 1080p BenQ monitor to this 4K LG is the response time and input delay. I'm pretty sure and I know that this monitor has a gaming mode which might speed that up. But that's like a real competitive gamer's like only concern is the input delay, response time, the from when you, you know, move the stick. Like when I move the stick or push a button, I don't want there to be a crazy delay. You want, when you're, you know, battling over milliseconds, it really does count. All right, gents. Kind of, bro, this is supposed to be a sharp knife, I thought. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. This thing is gorgeous. This is an IPS panel. We're going from a TN panel. So TN panels don't have the best color reproduction and the lights and the darks don't look as good as IPS panels. But the reason most pros play on TN panels is because of the lower input delay and response time. All right, so I just gotta turn this little thingy my jiggy, screw it on there. All right, so first off, when you see these monitors side by side, the BenQ has some chunky, thick bevels, whereas the LG is pretty sleek. Bro, I mean, it pretty much has no bevel at all to it. All right, time to set this up, bro. Dude, this sounds stupid, but I can already tell the difference just from this screen. So right now, it's on 1920 by 1080. We'll see if I can adjust that in the settings here. So first off, uh... The colors look pretty damn amazing. I didn't do too much adjustment. I still wanna play with the settings because this might be too dark. Graphics, brightness, damn son. Let me go to the PlayStation 4 settings to see if we can change anything here to perhaps boost the quality some more. So unsupported, your TV does not support HDR. Super sampling mode. Because right now it's on 1920 by 1080 and I wanted to play in as high of res resolution as possible. HDR is not supported with this HDMI. To use HDR, you must select automatic if you have select off. The setting for HDR is... Uh... Alright dudes, I'm going to start a private match and just mess with the color and the settings to see if I can get the best looking quality. Yo, so, do you know what I didn't realize? I had my HDMI hooked up through my Elgato HD60, which doesn't support 4K. So the reason I couldn't go to the 4K setting in the settings is because the Elgato that I have doesn't even support that. So I'm going to try to hook up <laughs> my PlayStation 4 Pro directly to the monitor, not going through the Elgato. But if I want a game in 4K and record it, then I need the 4K60 Pro. I was wondering why I couldn't play 4K because it's going through something that doesn't support it. So uh, let's try this again. Now that it's hooked up directly through, we can actually use the proper setting. Oopsie. I just recorded that whole thing. The whole gameplay going through the, the private match the blackout match not even in the best quality this looks so much better already it might look weird from that angle 
<laughs> Bro, it looks so nice. All right, boys, so I have to upgrade my Elgato so I can actually record and play in 4K for you guys. Well, 4K. Um, silly mistake, but damn, it looked good before. And when you're playing in that setting, even better. But yo, I'm gonna get some fuel. I'm gonna get streaming, so keep your eyes peeled, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bang.